Okay, well, we take the row, full row unit basically apart and check all everything for your wear items. So all your bushings, your opener discs, your gauge wheel arms, your scrapers, and then we even go into the meter, we check your brushes, your seals, and then we go farther back, we're checking the parallel links, all the hoses, the routing for the, the hydraulics and your wiring to see if anything's pinching or rubbing through. Um, and then we run the full planter checking uh, the CFS to make sure that there's no cracks in that. Um, all the pres hydraulic pressures are looking good. We, we run the entire system to see if there's any sort of issues. So that's kind of a quick gist of it. Um, we're checking all the cylinders to see if anything's leaking that way, um, all the airlines. So this would be the internals of our VSET meter. A lot of times in our inspections, what we look for is the seals. Uh, these are This is your vacuum seal, so you can get that good vacuum on that seed disc. So it can hold that corn, di corn seed to the disc when you're you know, planting. Um, a lot of times, so we check if they're ripped. That's a common wear item in these meters. We check the shims, make sure our shimming is proper on our seed disc. Um, and then this half would be your, your brushes. So that's another uh, common wear item in these. So these are brand new brushes that we already put in this planter. That's one of the things we found in the inspection. Um, a lot of times what we see is they're frayed out. They're not that clean, clean straight up and down brush. Um, and then the singulator as well. We look a lot. We actually have a certain tool for our singulators to check that's uh, we check them with a special tool to check the wear on them. It's a pretty consistent finding. If we find one thing, it's usually pretty consistent across the whole planter. Um, so like opener discs, usually with a gauge wheel arm bushing. So you, we, we use this to adjust it to the, to the, to the opener disc. And uh, usually when you run out of adjustment and it's tight up against the shank here, that means your bushing is wore out. They walk themselves in because your bushing is getting wore out.